Hey my beautiful friends, welcome to my channel. I've created this look and a small video for you which is a matte grey and pink eyeshadow look. This is a smoky look and if you want to see how I created this, let's dive into the video. I've already prepared my skin. Any makeup to start with, you have to prepare your skin then prime your skin. For primer, I first use a NYX pore filler primer because I have a little bit of pores around my skin and then I'm using wet and wild priming oil. This will give a healthy luminosity to your face. This is these days my two go primer and I'm just massaging it into my skin. After this, I'm using Maybelline orange corrector under my eye to cover all the darkness which Netflix has given me because of binge watching. And then around my lips, little bit of acne marks which I have got because of wearing mask. Point to note, if you want your concealer to blend well and corrector to give you more coverage then rather than using any other tool or a sponge use the warmth of your finger it will give you absolute coverage now this is a peach concealer from skin cosmetic if you're someone who is scared of using orange corrector and you think your foundation and concealer will turn into orange color then over your orange corrector use a peach concealer blend it with the help of your finger trust me in this life never ever will your foundation or concealer turn into orange and you can see the difference just the concealer can make and now i'm using bye bye cosmetics bb cream this is a hundred percent full coverage bb cream with spf 50 i'm using a brush always remember whenever you use any corrector never do ever use a sponge to blend your foundation or concealer either use your fingers or a brush and then after that i'll use a concealer from bare skin this is a little lighter than my skin tone i'm using it under the eye just a little spot and blending with the help of the brush to highlight my under eyes and then after that i'll use nyx cosmetic setting powder with the help of a fluffy brush i'll just set my whole face and then i'll move on to the next one and the next step is to do the eye for the eyes first i'm using this pink shade on the outermost corner i'm patting this pink eyeshadow on the outermost corner so that i get maximum payoff and whatever is left i'll blend it into the crease line and after that we'll move on to the next step for next step you need a gray shade and you need to gently pat it on the middle of your eyelid and that's it and then we will use a black gold pencil on the lower waterline and now we would highlight the innermost corner and the brow bone i'm curling my lashes to use false lashes and the eye look is completed now i would use the highlighter on the high points of my face with a fluffy brush then i'm using a beautiful peachish blush to give it a complete look and a flush of color on my face then i'm using this bronzer from l'oreal this is an illuminating bronzer and this will get the warmth back to my face and then with the help of a nude lipstick i'll complete this look this nude lipstick is from mac and this is a concealer which i'm using a little below the bronzer to clean up and this extra step will give my face a little more chisel look and this is setting spray which will ensure that the time you spent on your makeup is not going in vain in just couple of hours this will ensure your makeup stays on your face for long long hours and this completes the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed give it a like and subscribe until we meet next as i always say keep on practicing makeup take care bye bye